Hello friends, good morning. Today I am coming up with a very new interesting topic where you as a user are on Odoo Online SaaS version and without any custom modules, you want to achieve preventing sales when you don't have enough stock. So how to achieve that using our new feature like Odoo Automations. So I would like to reveal a trick for everyone so that if you as a user are using Odoo Online SaaS, then how to achieve that? So let's jump on to two things. One is regular sales order and prevention of sales when you don't have enough quantity or you want to restrict even POS based sales when you don't have enough stock on hand and you are trying to sell. So let's jump to automation rules where I have created two rules for two different module and process. One is I have given a title of prevent sales for negative stock and model which I have selected is sales order. And then the trigger I have created on create and edit basis. And then the status of my quotation would be like is should be in quotation and quotation sense state. And then I don't want any update trigger, but this should create an action with automation rule. And then I write this particular code over here, which mentions if my quantity available is, you know, less than like product UM quantity is greater than quantity available, then user shall get one alert and it should prevent saving this order. So this is first I have added this. So let's check how it reflects in your real time sales order. So in my inventory now, if I go and then check my stock. So test one has a 96 unit, test two has 96 and test three has seven units available. So if I go and create any new quotation and then trying to sell test one, where I can see 96 units are available. So as soon as I confirm, it will allow me and deliver. That's normal. Now, when for the same test one, my present will be 95 units. And if I am trying to sell 100, system will throw an error like insufficient stock for the product and available quantity is this only requested are 100. So if now you are going below, system will allow you to save otherwise system will block your sales order and prevent you to overcommit any stock which is available less than your quantity so this is one simple automation rule we have created and it will work like this now second thing we will jump to the second automation rule which i have created for model point of sales order lines and then on creation and edit, we will run this. And then this particular code I have put on automation rule where it will search for line quantities greater than product quantity available, then it will throw an error. So once that is done, then let's go to point of sale and open our cache register and then test one. Okay. So test one, I know like if I go to my inventory, and then test one has 95 units available. So when I'm trying to sell five units, collecting the payment, yeah, it's done because I have enough stock. Now over here, it will reduce to 90. So test one has a 90 unit on hand and test three has seven unit on hand. And then if I'm creating test three and I'm trying to sell 10 units and going into payment and validating system will throw an error like cannot sell test three because only seven quantity available on stock and it will redirect you to orders and your order will be blocked like this it will stuck over here so what i need to do is i need to uh, you know create a new order and then once the order quantity matches like over here if i am trying to sell five units of test three yep so only two quantities available for test three. So this is how it is blocking us and preventing us to sell 
okay so p system is reserving those stock and i am simply removing those and then going back to register so still i have seven units available on hand for test three so let's say if i am trying to sell let's say two unit of test three and selling it it will allow me to sell because i have enough quantity available now as soon as i refresh i will have five on hand only and rest are gone okay so this is how we can also prevent point of sale for less quantity than available and then system will prevent like this for your Odoo online SaaS. So I am putting both of this code in my YouTube video description so you can use this and create the similar actions automation rules in your instance and prevent these sales on POS as well as regular sales like this. Hope this will help many functional consultant and end user to create such condition and rule. So uh, without any customization, we can achieve this hack. Thank you guys. If you have any question, any needs, reach out to me on my YouTube, LinkedIn or email. Have a good day. Bye.